Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be going over a little trick that I have come across that can help you gain an extra 30 or 40% more performance out of Microsoft Flight Simulator. Want to know what it is? Stay tuned for today's episode of 2020 Flight Simmers. Welcome back everyone, I hope you're doing well today. So let's hop right into this and show you how we're going to do this. Oh, and if this video does help you out today, be sure to go down below, hit that subscribe, tick that little bell, and smash that thumbs up button. So I want everybody to do this with me while you're at your PC. Oh, and keep in mind that this trick is only going to be good for NVIDIA graphics cards. So for all the AMD people, I am truly sorry. For everyone else, just follow along and do this with me, and then we can compare side to side. So what I want you to do is hit Control alt delete on your keyboard. All right, I'll give you a second because I know it's gonna bring up that blue screen, so go ahead and do that real quick. All right, great, so now that you've got up your task manager, what I wanna do is go over here and click on the name section. And we're just gonna do this so that they're all in alphabetical order. And then we're gonna go all the way down and you're gonna to try to find the NVIDIA section. Doo -doo -doo. All right, so I'm at my NVIDIA section. You should be at your NVIDIA section now. Yep. How many of these little NVIDIA containers and shares and all the other ones, how many do you have? Post down below in the comments and let me know what you've got on your PC. So one of the things that's going to take place when you've got all these different NVIDIA containers and telemetries and share folders open is that it's going to try to be communicating and doing all this behind the scenes work over the internet. I have found that by being able to eliminate all of those extra NVIDIA containers that you have on your screen will really free up a ton of extra horsepower that you can unleash in your sim. This is going to work with an older PC or a newer PC. Just to give you some reference, I'm using an i9 processor with a 3080 Ti. When I did this, it made a huge, huge difference. I can't even describe it. I, I wish I would have taken video of the frame rate difference because it was just crazy. So I got in that fly-by-wire A320 and load it into the hardest airport in the world, in the sim, of course, and that's JFK. Everybody knows that when you load into JFK, your frame rates drop down to nothing, and if you're in VR, your frames go to almost, I mean, it's, it's crazy how low your frames have to, are, are gonna go, and you've gotta keep all of your other settings down pretty low. So when I did this setting change, I was able to spawn into JFK, flip into VR, and use all of those settings that you probably saw in the very last video. If you didn't, I'll post a link down below. Check that out for the best graphic settings. And the image quality and clarity was spectacular. In the Open XR Developer Toolkit, I was running at full resolution in the Reverb G2. Full resolution, 100% in everything. So I'm sorry for the rant. So now let's get into how you can do this on your system. If you do have Microsoft Flight Simulator open, we're gonna shut that right now. The next thing that we need to do is download a couple of programs from the web. All of the links for these programs are gonna be down in the description. So you can hop down there and grab those. The first bit of software that we're gonna to use today is gonna to be the Display Driver Uninstaller. Once you click on the link below, you're gonna be presented with this page. You're gonna go all the way down to the bottom, and then right down here where it says Download Locations, you're gonna pick the best location that's closest to you. Once you do that, the download will pop up in your web browser, and it's gonna be a zip file, so just leave that alone, and let's go ahead and download the other two files we're gonna need. The next one's called NV Clean Install. When you click on the link, it'll bring you up on this page and you can just click on the download link right here. Now that should download an EXE file. So once that's done, we can leave that alone. The next thing we need to do is to head over to the NVIDIA drivers downloads and we're gonna download the appropriate driver for your graphics card. Now, because I'm using a 3080 Ti, I'm gonna select product type GeForce, product series GeForce RTX 30 series, the product is the RTX 3080 Ti. 
the operating system that you're using, and the driver type, whether that be game ready or studio driver. Of course, we're gonna download the game ready driver, select your language, hit search. Once you do, the download page will appear. You can go ahead and click the download for the latest driver for your graphics card. Once that is finished, we can now move on with the next process. So now that we've got all those downloaded, what you need to do is to go into your downloads folder or wherever you've downloaded your files and you wanna unzip the Guru 3D. That's for the display driver uninstaller. Once you unzip this file, we're gonna go ahead and place that right on our desktop. Next, you can see below the Guru 3D is the NV clean install EXE file. And above, we have the 512.59 driver file for the graphics card. The next thing that we need to do is to run the display driver uninstaller. The most effective way to do this is to run your PC in safe mode. So running your PC in safe mode may seem like a daunting task, but I'm gonna go through a simple way of how you can reboot your PC in safe mode. First thing you need to do is to go down to your Windows tab right here, go up to the power options, hold down the shift key on your keyboard. While you're holding that down, you're gonna hit the restart button. Continue holding that down until the next screen is gonna pop up here and it's gonna look something like this. Once this screen populates, you can then hit the troubleshoot box. The next screen that should come up, it should give you an advanced options or something like that. Click on the advanced options. Then you just wanna click on the startup settings. When you click on that, it's gonna bring up another box. Once you click on the startup settings, it's gonna then bring up another box that you can then hit the restart option. Once you hit the restart, another blue screen is gonna come up on the screen, and I believe it's option number four that's gonna be restart in safe mode. If it's not option number four on your PC, you're just gonna select whichever option comes up that says restart in safe mode. Once you get your PC rebooted in safe mode and you are back to your desktop, at that point we can open that file for the display driver uninstaller that we had just put on the desktop. So we're gonna go ahead and double click on that. Now we can click on the display driver uninstaller application. Once the program opens, it should look something like this. Now for your situation, you wanna make sure you're in safe mode right now. I am not in safe mode, just to be clear. So the next thing that you wanna do is to come over here to select device type. You're gonna go down, highlight GPU, left click on that. Then you're also gonna go down below that and highlight NVIDIA and click on that as well. Once that is complete, the last and final step here is to go up and hit clean and restart. Once you hit the clean and restart, just allow the computer to do what it's gonna do. Once it completes and restarts, then we can pick up from there. All right, so now that that's done, let's move on with the remainder of the install. Now, one thing I did forget to mention here, you do wanna disable and turn off any Wi-Fi or internet access to your PC. And you wanna do this before your PC actually reboots. So if you haven't already turned your Wi-Fi off on your PC, what you can do is either turn off the router, unplug the ethernet cable, or your DSL line. This way it will disable any automatic updates when your PC reboots because you do not want your PC to automatically download anything when it reboots. All right, so after the PC is rebooted and you have no internet access, you've turned all of that off. Next, we can go down and open the NV clean install application that we have just downloaded. We're gonna double click on that, hit the yes button. And at this point, we can select the driver from our download folder that we had downloaded from Nvidia for your graphics card. To do that, we're just gonna highlight Use Driver Files on Disk, hit Browse, and go to My Downloads folder, click on the file, select Open, and we're all set. At this point, we can hit the Next button at the bottom. From this menu is where we can select what parts of the driver that we want to install on our system. Now, some of you may be asking, well, what do I need to install? Great question, because we're gonna go over that right now. What I recommend to do is to come right down below and hit the recommended button. Now that's gonna highlight some of the basic items that you're gonna need to run your graphics driver or your graphics card. If you are a person that is not using a standard PC and you are using a laptop, 
there's a couple other options we need to check off. So we can come down below and check the Optimus, and we can come below that and check the USB-C driver. Not quite sure if you need this one or not, but we're just gonna check that one anyway. All right, so once we got that done, we can come down below here and check out the GeForce Experience components. In my personal recommendation, I would not use any of the GeForce Experience components. This is where all of your lag is gonna come from inside the simulator. Once you've got that completed, then we can go down here to the next button and tick on that. It's now gonna unpack and create the installer program for you to use for your PC. You're just gonna allow this to happen. Once that's finished, we're gonna come back and open this up. Okay, so the package is finished and now we've got a couple more options here that we can check off. So let's go through these right now and we'll go over what you should be checking. The first one that we need to disable is the installer telemetry. We also wanna check the unattended express installation. We do not need to check perform a clean install because we have already uninstalled using our display driver uninstall program. Next, we can come down and check enable DLSS indicator. And below that, we're gonna come down and tick show expert tweaks. Be careful down here because some of these are experimental and it can disturb some things if you check them. But I've already done the testing, so if you check what I check, you should be okay. First one we're gonna disable is the driver telemetry. We're gonna go down and disable the NVIDIA HD audio device sleep timer. And we're also going to enable message signal interrupts. Below that, we're gonna disable the HDCP. And all the way at the bottom, we are going to tick this, says use method compatible with easy anti-cheat. Triggers a driver unassigned warning during installation. Just keep that in mind that once you tick this, you'll have a little warning that's gonna come up here that you just need to check and hit install anyway. So we're just gonna check on that, and then we're gonna come down and hit the next button. Once we do, this will generate all the information that our PC is gonna need to be able to install the driver software for us. Once that's completed, we have a couple different options here that we can choose from. What I recommend to do is to create a folder on your desktop in which you can put this new driver that you have just created into. So we can left click, click new, select folder, and we can name that folder NVIDIA or anything that you would like to name it. Once you've done that, we can then come over here to the NV Clean Install and click the menu that says Show in Folder. Once we do, it will open up the temporary folder that houses this new display driver that we have just created for ourselves. Next, we need to copy by selecting, holding Shift, and then selecting the last file. Then we can drag and drop all of those files to that new folder we had just put on the desktop. Once that's completed, we can exit that and we no longer need the NV clean install at this point. We can now exit out of that program. Now we can go to that folder that we had just created and put all of those files in, and let's open that up. We can then come down to the setup application and double click on that setup application. Of course, I'm not gonna do this because I've already done that and it works wonders, I must say. But keep in mind that you are gonna get that warning screen that's gonna pop up. You're just gonna hit install anyway and let it do its complete install for you. Once the install finishes, you will then notice if you come down to your system tray over here and you go to your NVIDIA icon here, you will now notice that there is no more GeForce Experience option. So if you click on that, it will now only open the NVIDIA control panel. From here, we can go in and set all of these settings for what we need for our PC. Keep in mind, that because we've done a clean install, that all of our settings have been reset. So you're gonna have to go through these and set all of these settings back to where you need them. Again, if you didn't see our graphics video, link will be down in the description. Check that out. I go over every setting in here for you, as well as some tips and tricks along the way. So now that you've gotten rid of all that bloatware in your system, 
What are you waiting for? Start the sim up and get going. Thanks everybody for joining us on the channel today. If you have any questions, post those down below in the comments section and I will get right back to you. While you're down there, be sure to hit that subscribe, tick that little bell, and smash on that thumbs up button. To all my flight simmer friends around the world, keep the blue side up. We will see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody.